Hi, my name is Gisela Marti, Creative Director for Tammy Taylor Nails. Today, I'm going to share with you a very cool technique that I call Eyes Tips. My guest artist, of course, is going to be the new collection from Tammy Taylor, Forever Whites. So let's get started. For this frost in ice design, we are going to be working with our Prisma Lime Green and Magenta. From Tammy Taylor Forever Whites collection, we're going to be working with the white Twinking Star and our Triple White. We'll be needing the True Pink and the Competitive Edge Clear. Of course, for filing the 180 Zebra, our three-dimensional brush and our square acrylic brush. For liquid, we're going to be using the A Plus liquid, our brush cleaner, and our Clean It. You need your black dap and dish and a small clear dap and dish. We'll seal the design with our Top Gel Plus and nourish with our oil. Last but not least, our white pits and our towelettes. Okay, let's start. If you notice, I already did my almond shape in top of the nail bed with my True Pink powder. So it's already done, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Twinking Star uh, acrylic, and it's gonna be just about half of the way of my nail. Then I'm gonna be working the rest of the nail with clear, okay? So let's do it. I'm gonna take a good ball of my Twinking Star, white, my white Twinking Star, and this is what is going to give my nail the frost look, okay? It's just a little bit on the, on the top. We are not going to cover the whole um, area, only just the top, okay? Remember, just follow the shape of your almond. And be sure to square the nail completely once again i'm bringing it and i'm fading it to the center if you notice i'm just fading it to the center and i'm going to be sure that or be sure when you're doing this that your almond is completely clean okay so push the acrylic to the side fixing that smile and this is it. Now I'm going to be working with the clear. And from here on, the clear is all what I'm going to be using, nothing else. That's a little bit. If you, if you want to work this a little bit more um, shorter, you can do it a little bit shorter. But this is perfect. I'm going to take my clear, my ball of clear, and I'm going to apply it right on the side, just finishing the tip of the nail again another one don't make it too thick because you are going to be giving the shape of the eyes later on so this is just a base there we go i got my nail right there once i do that now i'm going to start building up the side the center and the other side and this is what is going to give me that illusion of an ice tip all right so now once again now i'm going to take a big ball so be sure you have a plenty um, clear acrylic and I'm going to start flattening the side. Okay, look, I flat the top and then I flat the side. This is what is going to give me that illusion of the ice tip. Again, another ball, put it on the side and just pat the side and pat the top. There we go. At the top, the side. 
Now we're going for the other side. The same movement, just place it right there and pat the side just to create that flat effect and keep patting it down as you go as you go flatten completely see I'm flattening this side I'm flattening this side the acrylic will give you enough time for you to finish the nail you don't have to do it long you can do it shorter but for the effects of the video and this demo I'm making it a little bit longer than what I regularly will do again flatten the side flatten the sides now I'm going to encapsulate completely the top blending with the nail bed okay so I already have um, the shape right there take a ball of clear place it right there and back stroking back stroking the nail to encapsulate and to make of course that blending once again a little bit of my stress area and bring it down bring it down bring it down now I'm gonna wait till the nail dries once it dries I'm going to be um, filing with my 180 severa in a different way than what we regularly will be filing okay the nail is completely dry don't forget that when the nail is on the plastic stage to pinch okay I already pinch and my nail is completely dry you want to hear the sound of the acrylic now what we're gonna do is we're going to file with our 180 uh, zebra file and be sure to put away your powders and cover because you don't want to file with your powders open Okay, now we are going to file, and the, the way we're going to be filing, we are going to first line up the nail over here, same thing on the other side, then we're going to flat, file flat in the side, and flat in the other side, and then the top. Okay, so here, don't forget that the position for filing, it is completely flat. Okay. Same thing on the other side, see how I'm doing. And then on the top, it's completely flattened. Okay, here we go. Now you want to be sure that it's this way because you don't want to erase this edge that will give this nail the illusion of an eyes. Okay, so once we clean, you're gonna see how awesome it looks. So once again, top, the sides, the sides and if you need to square square and this is it now what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to clean my nail with polish remover but in this case you will send your client to wash the hands I'm gonna be cleaning with a polish remover of course and here is my nail completely done I did another nail over here this is, both of them are with um, the white from the Forever White collection from Tammy Taylor. This one, like I told you, is the Twinking Star, but this one is the Glistening Sand, which is sand. Both done the same way. You can see the effects of both nails. This one looks like frost in ice, and this one looks also like frost in ice, but in a different way. See, can you see the difference between both? How cool they look? Okay, now we are gonna do a three-dimensional in top of the, the nail, and it's gonna be on this side over here. And I'm gonna be using my triple white with a magenta, and I'm gonna show you over here how it is that we do the petals of the flower. So be sure 
that whenever you use your brush and you're cleaning it, you want to twirl the brush in a way that the point of the brush is always there. It's very important because this is what is going to mark the petals of the nail, in the nail, sorry. Back again, pick on a small ball, see? And now we are going to tap into the magenta and I'm gonna do over here a sample so you can see, I'm gonna place it and I'm gonna let it be until start flowing. Then I'm gonna clean the brush once I clean the brush, I come over here and I'm going to open this petal this way, see? So I'm gonna have the center with the magenta and the white on the outside. And flat it, flat it. The shape of the petal will depend on what kind of flower you're doing, in this case, it's going to be flat, but it's not gonna be a round, even petal. But this is the way you do it, see? Over here, you can keep practicing. The best place for you to practice is on a black surface, which will give you, right there you place it, will give you an idea of what is it that you're doing. Again, see? Always my brush need to be facing the point to the center where I'm going to be doing the finishing of the flower. You see how beautiful it looks when the, the petals are not completely even. Flat again, flat again to the other side. Then you got two petals already. And this way you can put three petals, four petals, whichever is... Um, the, the space that you have, if you have an, a small space that you cannot put too many petals and cannot be neither too big, they have to be smaller. But this is the way that you're gonna be doing the petals. Now, we're gonna do it right here and I'm gonna go on the side, okay? The same way I told you, I'm gonna grab a small size ball, be sure to take the excess of the liquid off the brush and look at the ball. If you like it, touch the color and place it. I'm gonna place it right there. Once I place it right there, I'm gonna clean the brush by twirling and I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to open, open and I'm gonna bring as low as possible my petal and then I'm going to flat to one side, flat, Flatten to the other side and have my first petal right there. I'm gonna have my second one. And I usually, what I like to do is just drag on the same side by side of my first uh, ball. So like that, I try to grab the same size of balls. To open, don't forget the brush has to be sideways and to flatten has to be with the flat side. I'm going to drag up. Once I do that, I'm gonna start opening, opening my petal. Same over here. See? You bring it and you direct the petal whichever is the, the, the place that you want. You can mark more that petal and open it. You can extend it. There we go, we have two petals already. Now we're gonna put a third one. And it's very important that when you're doing three dimensionals, see, this is too small. I want a bigger ball, so I'm gonna let it go. Go back again and grab a little bit bigger, see? And touch with my magenta and place it right here. Back again, split. And then start opening your petal this way. Direct it this way. Pull it right here, 
right here and you can pull it this way and now you have three petals again over here okay those are my three petals I'm gonna go for the center on the center I'm gonna choose on a small ball about this size just a tiny touch and place it right there right there don't forget the twirling let it flow and then right in a straight angle you're gonna go to the center and you're gonna open that center once you open the center you're gonna start flattening the sides of that center to make it higher see how I'm doing it to make it higher I'm gonna go back and wet a little bit my brush come back over here and keep flattening the sides so I can make it higher and there we go now I want to give a little bit of color to the petals so what I'm gonna do is with my brush wet I'm gonna take a pink a tiny tiny little ball see how tiny it is and I'm gonna put it right there and with the liquid of my brush what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint that petal another pinch very tiny pinch Put it right there and then again water down so you can have that effect now I'm gonna do over here my leaf and it's gonna be with my lime green and my white but before I do that I'm gonna take a little bit of my white just a smaller ball see with a tiny touch very tiny touch of the magenta and I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna let it flow once it flows I'm gonna pull it just a little bit down just a little bit down you can keep pulling it down flatten and pull it down you have plenty opportunity to work with it if you need more liquid go back Take the liquid and flatten, put it down. Because that's where my leaf is going to come. Very simple. Now we go for the leaf. Um, that is too big. See, when it's too big, just let it go. You don't need to fight the powder. There we go. And then on the lime green, you're gonna touch. Put it right there. And as you do that, use all the liquid that is in the brush and pat. So you can bring it down, bring it down. Okay, now we're gonna mark the leaf and we're gonna bring it to that corner. Be sure that if it's just coming too close to the petal, just clean it. You have plenty. There we go. Now we start bringing it to whichever way you wanna direct that petal. And I'm gonna use the end of my brush to mark and I'm gonna mark it right here. I'm gonna keep marking it, marking it, marking it to create that illusion of my leaf. Clean to be sure that it shows. And I'm going now to watercolor my leaf with a pinch of that green. See, that's too much to color, let it go. 
has to be a tiny bit smaller. Put it there and with the whole, all the liquid that is in your brush, just let it flow in there so it goes in the creases of the, of the leaf. See, now I'm gonna work over here with some flat drops. And this is gonna be all white. It's not going to be, and this is how small it's going to be, see? I'm gonna place one over here. I'm gonna let it flow, and I'm not gonna wipe the liquid because I need the liquid in order for me to just flatten and make it like if we're a drop. See, the liquid will allow you to pull that tiny petal over there. It's just like a comma, just like a comma right there and flat. Once again, I'm gonna go for a small ball to create another comma, see? But this one a little bit higher over here don't forget, for the comma, you don't want to wipe your brush. And I'm gonna make it in a different direction, the opposite direction. Just to bring it right there. Flatten. And now you have two. Okay. Don't forget, if you need to clean, just clean. Go and clean your brush, come back again. And there we go. And we're gonna put a third one over here. Small, place it, don't wipe. See, I was so used to wiping that I was gonna wipe my liquid and I need all the liquid I can have in this brush. Just to direct right there my petal. Now I'm going to pat to flatten and with a point again, create like a comma. And here you go. again and there we go now what we are going to do now is I'm going to put some stones I'm going to put a stone over here I'm going to put a couple of stones over here and over here to finish my gorgeous design and I'm going to be using the clear powder and I'm going to put a tiny drop of the clear powder in order for me to insert the stones. So, take on a smoke ball and place it and then take your stone and place it exactly right there where you put the clear. And tap it so it gets very firm into the acrylic. Again, another little tiny bit of the clear. See, tiny bit. And I'm gonna put it right in here. Go for my stone. My stone right there. Tap it. Go for my next one. Clear again, tiny ball of clear. Place it right in here. Go for the stone, place it. See, this is gonna give some pizzazz to your design, the stones. There we go. I'm gonna put one more stone right here. Place it right there. Tap into the acrylic. I'm gonna tell you, when you put the stones with the clear acrylic, they stick there forever and ever. They're not gonna come out. They're not gonna come out, so. 
Mm. I decided that I want to put another one over here. I'm, and now I'm stone crazy. Right here. There we go. And I can put a third one down here, which I will. Right here would be my last stone. Right there. Tap it so you can get. Once the acrylic dries, it will dry with the stone and the stones are not gonna come out. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of white over here. I wanna break that area. And I'm gonna put a tiny drop right there. And you can bring it to the side. Remember, you have the flat side. So, pat on that side. And there we go. It's just like a tiny comma on the side. Here is the design. I already finished. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna top coat the whole nail with the top gel plus so I can get that effect of eyes. All right, so now I finish with my design, as you see, and what I'm gonna do is apply the top gel plus all the way around the three-dimensional. Look how awesome it looks when you apply the top gel plus. You can apply the top gel plus on top of the stones if you want to seal them, won't be no problem. But just on top of the stones, not on top of the three-dimensional. On this side, same things over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cure, of course, for two minutes. And if you have an LED lamp, You'll cure for one minute. Look how awesome that tip looks. Looks like a piece of ice, right? I'm gonna put top gel plus under to bring more the translucency of the nail. And it can show better the effect. Okay, now it's already cured. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my wipe it with Clean It and I'm going to wipe the whole surface. And under also, remember that I put some top gel on the bottom. And now, I'm gonna finish with my oil. Don't forget to put oil so you can nourish the cuticles of your clients. As you see, you can see the effects of the eyes and the frost inside of the eyes. Let's recap. As you see over here, we have the both nails, one that was worked with the glistening sand and the other one that was worked with the twinkling star uh, from the new collection from Tammy Taylor, Forever White. Uh, remember, what I did was I apply the twinkling star on the free edge of the nail, just to half of the nail, and I work the rest of the nail with the clear. I use the competitive edge, which is awesome because it's a bubble-free powder. Once I finished the nail, I filed. I used the 180 zebra, and I file the sides, and then I file the top in a flattened way. Um, once I finished the nail, I did the three-dimensional. It was a very simple three-dimensional with the triple white in a double dip with the magenta. Um, I did the leaf with the triple white and the lime green. I used small portions to create the commas that will did or that did the decoration of the nail on the top of the nail. And then, of course, I added the stones. Here is the difference of both nails. How fun was that? I'm sure that any one of your clients are gonna love this technique. This is a perfect nail for weddings. 
Remember, if you have any ideas or techniques that you would like to share, just take a picture, write the step-by-step -step directions, and send it to creative director at TammyTaylorNails.com. Again, creative director at TammyTaylorNails.com. And who knows, you may be the next dog of the town.